The inability to say no often makes us feel powerless. So today I want to share 10 ways to say no to anyone and to any occasion without being rude or feeling guilty. But first, I want you to practice something that I call the triple R and that's reveal, release, and replace. So we are revealing the word no. We're no longer going to say the actual word no. We are going to release that word and we are going to replace it with 10 unique ways to say no without actually saying the word no. So the first way you can say no to anyone and for any occasion without being rude or feeling guilty is thank you for thinking of me, but I'm not available. Number two, oh, that's a kind thought, but I'm unable to. Perhaps next time. Number three, I'm stretched too thin. I just don't have time. Number four, I apologize. I can't. Number five, I wish I could, but I'm not available. Number six, sounds fun, but on that day, I'm booked. Number seven, if only I could. Number eight, unfortunately, I can't today, but maybe in the future. Number nine, possibly next time. And the last way that you can say no without actually saying no is, ooh, I wish I could. Unfortunately, I can't this time. So there you have it, 10 ways to help you say no without being rude or feeling guilty. Thank you so much for watching. I'm author Katie Gates, and this is the place where I help women like you and me become the best people that we can be. And if you like that kind of thing, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell and drop me a comment. Let me know if you're unable to say no and if this video has helped you in any way. Until next time, bye-bye.